Hi everyone, today I'm going to be teaching you how to start your first OBS and YouTube stream. I'll teach you how to set up your stream in this technique as well as all of the functionalities inside OBS. Let's get this process started. First and foremost, let's download OBS. OBS is compatible with Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. I'll provide a link in the description below to simply press the software that you are using and it should begin downloading immediately. You should be on this page after successfully downloading OBS. Let's talk about the controls first. Controls are located on the bottom right of your screen. You will notice the Start Streaming button here, which will allow you to begin streaming. The Manage Broadcast button next to it will let you modify your stream, such as the stream description. The Start Recording button is located below and enables you to record videos. The Start Virtual Camera button, seen below, allows you to share your OBS Studio scene with any program that can use a webcam. Underneath the Studio Mode, which makes it possible for you to alter your scenes in the background without your viewers seeing you do so. Finally, we have Settings, which I'll cover right now. We don't need to modify anything here in the general, but you may always change the language and the theme if you wish. Here is where you can link different platforms like YouTube and Twitch, but we will be only covering YouTube in this video. To livestream on YouTube, select YouTube RTMPS and link your YouTube account. Make sure that the output mode is set to advanced rather than simple in the output options. Make sure you're on the stream tab, not the recording tab. Let's disregard the audio track and concentrate on the encoder. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, I recommend setting your encoder to NVIDIA NVENC H264. Choose x264 if you do not have a graphics card. This will use your computer's processing power to live broadcast. We do not need to do anything in the rescale output. If you know that you have a low end PC, I recommend setting the bitrate to 2500 to 3000. If you have a mid tier PC, go for 3500 to 6000 bitrate. I suggest a bitrate of 6000 to 10000 for a high end computer if you have a graphics card such as a 3090 or a 4090. Here's my recommendation for the preset. Set the preset to P1 to P3 for a low end PC. Choose P4 to P5 for a mid tier PC and P6 to P7 for a high end PC. For a low end PC, set the tuning to low latency and for a mid and high end PCs, set it to high quality. I do not suggest changing the tuning to ultra low latency since it, it can cause some problems for your viewers. The profile can be set to main or high. Set your mic here to communicate with your audience. To choose your microphone, go to Mic Auxiliary Audio and select it from the drop down menu. Make sure you choose the highest resolution possible for the basic canvas. For the outscaled resolution, I recommend 1080 for mid and high end PCs and 720 or 480 for a low end PC as this determines the quality of the stream. Make sure that the FPS is set to integer FPS. You can set stream delays here and you can automatically reconnect stream if your stream stopped. The main focus of OBS Studio is scenes and sources. These are where you set up your stream layout, add your games, webcams, and any other devices or media that you want in the output. Click the plus button and then add a window capture to capture any app on your computer. Create a new one and then click OK. Change your app on the window to anything you'd like, and then click OK at the bottom. Click the plus button and then add a game capture to capture any game on your computer. Create a new one and then click OK. OBS will begin capturing any game automatically, but you may always choose which game it should capture. To share your whole entire screen, create a new display capture. To hide your sources, click on the eye icon. To lock your sources, click on the lock button next to the eye icon. You are now ready to start streaming. Click on the start streaming button here and you can edit your stream title, description, etc. Once you are ready, begin your live stream.
Thank you so much for watching this video. As always, see you guys in the next one. Peace.